Maria Grazia Cusinata was born in Messina in Sicily, Italy on 27 July 1968, is an Italian actress who has featured in films and television series since 1990. She has also worked as a film producer, screenwriter, and model. Internationally she is best known for her roles in Il Postino, as Isabella from HBO television series The Sopranos, and as the Bond girl, credited as a cigar girl, in the James Bond film The World Is Not Enough. These are my top 10 movies for Maria Grazia Cusinata. At number 10. The Day of the Beast, 1995. A Basque priest finds by means of a Kabbalistic study of the Bible that the Antichrist is going to be born on Christmas Day in Madrid. Helped by a heavy metal fan and by the showman of a TV esoteric program, he will try to invoke the devil to find out the place of birth and kill the baby. At number 9. Mary Magdalene, 2000. In the year AD 30, when Judea was under the control of the Roman Empire, a woman named Mary from the small town of Magdala begins to follow Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus, Danny Quinn, saves Mary of Magdala, Maria Grazia Cusinata, destitute and shunned by her husband for her infertility. At number 8. A Brooklyn State of Mind, 1997. Al Stanko has lived all of his life in Brooklyn and does some work for the local crime lord, Danny Parente. New to the neighborhood is Gabriella, a filmmaker shooting a documentary on the real Brooklyn. Al and Gabriella become friendly, but the relationship is strained when he discovers her true goal is to expose Parente's criminal activities. When Al sees the evidence Gabriella has uncovered, which implicates Parente in the death of many locals, including Al's own father, he seeks revenge in a dangerous confrontation with his boss. At number 7. The Trick in the Sheet, 2010. 1905, the cinematograph, still a mysterious invention, reaches Palermo bringing confusion to the common people to whom it appears some devilish trick. Federico is an unwilling medicine student, but a curious and eager would-be film director. When he meets Generino Picoro, owner of the local theater, he sees an opportunity to change his own life. Strongly opposed by his mother, Federico accepts the task to direct a film. It has to satisfy Don Generino's wishes to see a naked beauty on the screen, as well as Elena, the god-abiding Generino's sister, who wants the film to be an edifying piece. At number 6. The Graduates, 1995. Four thirty-something university students share a flat in Florence. Leonardo pursues beautiful Letizia. Her brother Rocco works night shifts to pay for his studies. Bruno has to graduate to inherit his father-in-law's business while cheating on his wife with her sister. And Pino dreams of becoming a stand-up comedian. At number 5. The Second Wife, 1998. Anna marries the brutish Fosco and moves to his Tuscan village. Both have a child from previous relationships, Anna a small daughter and Fosco the teenage Livio. When Fosco is sent to prison, Livio reveals his passionate desire for his stepmother. At number 4. Just One Night, 2000. Young Professor Isaac Alder is about to get married and is traveling in a taxi when he collides with another taxi. There appears to be a beautiful married woman in the other taxi, named Aurora. The attraction to each other is enormous and they decide to get to know each other better, which leads to a fiery romance. At number 3. Our Italian Husband, 2004. When Vincenzo Scacazza, an Italian immigrant sculptor living and working in Manhattan, weds the expectant Charlene Taylor, it overcomplicates his life for he is already married. Now two wives, four children and one husband must find a way to survive. At number 2. Urania, 2006. In a small village, a group of young people is growing up on dreams, prejudices, secrets, and lies. And passions, both political and family. The summer of 1969 will leave its mark on their dreams. Urania is a very beautiful woman who lives on the outskirts of the village, near the sea. The entire male population of the village passes through her house. The children watch her, drool over her, dream about her. They are bound by a common oath they have sworn in secret to save money so they can pay Urania a visit and she can finally initiate them in the secrets of love. At number 1. El Postino, The Postman, 1994. When exiled Cuban poet Pablo Neruda, Felipe Noiret, arrives on a tiny Italian isle, there's so much new mail that Mario, Massimo Troisi, an unemployed, uneducated layabout, is hired as a postman. His job is simply to deliver Neruda's daily mail. 
Mario soon becomes a student of the poet, learning the art of poetry, to woo a local barmaid, Maria Grazia Cusinata, and tell about the struggles of the working-class villagers. A firm friendship develops, and the postman turns into a changed man. Hey there folks, thank you for staying and watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, please stay tuned for more exciting videos to come. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon.